Hello and welcome back. And uh, in this video, we are going to be uh, talking about uh, moving cells around. So, uh, reordering or moving uh, cells around. So, uh, there are a few things uh, that you need to actually take care of uh, before you start moving uh, these cells around the collection view. Uh, so, let's go ahead and, and take a look what those are. So, uh, I'm going to say cell move here at the very bottom and um, let's go ahead and get started so first of all uh, what you need to do is uh, there's a there's a delegate function called can move item at so this actually indicates if we can move items um, around uh, so you can simply uh, return true uh, uh, for for everything so in our, in our case we're gonna return true for everything but what you can do basically is uh, based on the index path, you can restrict. So let's say if you have multiple sections, you can actually say, hey, uh, section zero uh, is something where I allow you to actually, I allow users to move cells, but section one I don't allow. So you can actually take that control too. Uh, so you just have to like put a if condition on the index path, find out which one do you wanna allow and uh, which one you don't wanna allow. But in our case, like, you know, for demo purposes, I'm going to actually return true for uh, all of the index paths. So everything can move. Okay. Then the next thing is uh, you simply say move item uh, at and uh, you say move item at. So basically there is a source index path and the destination index path. And uh, you ba you, the only thing that you need to basically take care of is uh, you need to uh, take your uh, data source and uh, in your data source, move the items. Um, and that's, that's about it. And uh, basically what's gonna happen is um, once you have moved your data source, you can use long press gesture recognizer to basically update your collection view for that for that move and we can actually do interactive movement so uh, we're going to take a look how we can put that together for long press uh, gesture recognizer okay so for here it's uh, very simple so we can simply say uh, item so we're simply going to remove the item from the source index path so we have removed that item and our item is now inside this item variable and we're simply going to insert it uh, insert the item at the data dot uh, sorry destination dot item so, so we're going to remove it from old index path and insert it at the new index path okay now the only thing that remains is that uh, cell uh, so our data source is updated but cell movement uh, so for that we're going to use a gesture recognizer so let's go ahead and uh, create a function um, here and I can create add I'll uh, see so first uh, first let's add a um, gesture recognizer on the collection on the collection view because uh, we're gonna gonna need that so add long press to collection view okay and this is simply going to be how we're going to create a long press and uh, it's going to need basically a uh, function uh, that it needs to call in the uh, selector so we're going to actually fill, fill that one in a minute but we're going to say self dot collection view dot add gesture recognizer and long press is the gesture recognizer that it needs to add and we're going to create an opt c function in order to call it uh, into the selector and uh, this one is going to be long press gesture gesture recognizer okay and we're gonna call this one here so simply long press gesture there we go okay all right 
so now what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna actually find out which state uh, we are in uh, in the gesture process and according to the state we are gonna actually trigger some events in the collection view so I'm gonna put a switch statement and uh, switch is gonna be put on gesture dot state okay and uh, we're gonna have begin we're gonna have case for changed we're gonna have case for ended and gonna have the uh, default so default is easy so let's fill out that one cancel interactive movement that we want to do with default and it is easy as well so we simply will say ca ca uh, collection view dot end interactive movement we are doing that interactive movement so we're going to end that and um, changed is also a little bit easy so update uh, interactive movement target position and uh, this is where we're going to determine where the change is happening so this is like as it's happening as you're moving yourself from one point A to point B and you're somewhere in the middle. So we're gonna find out where you are so we can actually show that drag and like, you know, cell shifting and all those things. So, uh, so we're simply gonna say uh, gesture dot location. And uh, this is gonna be gesture dot location and dot, dot view. So, so the, the update, uh, target interactive movement position is going to be the location where the uh, where the cell is at the point uh, where the gesture is actually taking the cell and that that location is within the gesture dot view okay now uh, for our begin it's a little bit of work so we first need to find out what the selected index path is so selected index path and uh, we're simply going to say collection view dot index path for item at CG point. So we're going to have to determine which point, uh, wh where is the point, where, where the point is, uh, the drag point, or, or where, the, where the gesture has started. And is there any, um, is there any item uh, on that, in that location? So uh, we can actually get that item uh, if there is none if this is not uh, if this uh, this could not find anything that we simply gonna return from here and now from here we simply gonna say collection we dot begin interactive movement for selected index path okay now all you need to do is basically call this in your view did load so add long press gesture to collection view and go ahead and run this so what we should see is um, and let me uh, let me talk about the gesture recognizer a bit so when you are holding uh, the place you hold as you can see uh, the cell actually sort of like lifted from there and it's now attached to the uh, the, the tap position and uh, now you're moving and as you can see it's actually the cells are making space for that move so um, if i move this here ended is where like you know the data source and everything is getting called and updated and everything but ended state is where uh, your interactive movement ends and update is basically it just finds out where where in the um, in the drag position the cell is so it can actually make room for that cell to fit in okay so yeah you can actually literally like you know change the entire <laughs> collection view and play around with it so so yeah this is uh this is how you basically uh do uh, y you basically add uh, interactive move uh for the cells in collection view so so this is it and uh, uh thanks again for watching hope you guys uh enjoyed uh the video and uh, uh thank you